when we are talking about transition uh, we are talking about changes that uh, would be happening in short time and long time and then uh, young people are consumers uh, we should we should recognize them people talk of that like future future citizen leaders and all those things yes uh, that's there but then ultimately they are participating in an economic system they are consumers and through their action uh, they can change uh, and help in the transformation or transition the other part of uh, this is that they need to understand what transition is happening and the rationale behind it because that's an opportunity for us to educate them about sustainability and the rationale uh, that we have for this and we need to make them uh, uh, participate in this process uh, as important individuals uh, for, for that reason uh, it is important that they are part of this transition and then this other important aspect is that uh, education is a delivery of societal uh, expectations so if a society and ex has expectations uh, from young people uh, in now and in future then uh, it has to be reflected in education uh bioeconomy i am not saying that we need to teach about bioeconomy we need to unravel how we are dependent on biological resources around the world and how they support uh, economy and other aspects of our life so for me the the important part here is the connection and the dependence on nature and uh, we need to uh, educate them about uh, the fact that we are not the master of this planet we are just one species on this planet and if we uh, and we need to live within the limits of the planet uh, the planetary boundary, uh, boundaries and uh, uh, yes if you will look at from an economic uh, perspective biological resources are limited and we need to make sure that uh, the the ecosystem services that we uh, take from the environment uh, for mostly uh, free are recognized and are valued uh, equally the challenge is when you say transition that means a transformative process so it's not a one go thing it is not one event or one activity that will bring about that transition and uh, then there are elements of uh, economy is one part of it but then there are elements which are social uh, issues of jobs issues of culture issues of uh, uh, the the beliefs that are there in the society and how they see a particular uh, job or a particular uh, dependence on nature because some of the bioeconomy jobs are not looked upon as something which is uh, uh, an announcement of success of uh, your uh, life in a society so uh, basically finding value in that and uh, the ecological and environmental part is also an important and so this nexus creates the complexity uh, which is the biggest challenge and and it has to be done over a long time a long process that means uh, we need to plan processes uh, which are long term and is trying to transform a child uh, over the period when he or she is in a school system not in one day or one uh, activity that is there second uh, it it ultimately is a pedagogy or the process the uh, and that means uh, new ways of teaching and learning that means uh, uh, helping a teacher uh, with those uh, skills that are required to facilitate this process which is uh, uh, which is more like what we call the reflexive pedagogy or transformative pedagogy and that means uh, in, uh, investment in teachers and uh, making sure that they have the time and space uh, to uh, help uh, uh, steer this uh, process and uh, ultimately uh, the other uh, challenge is that it has to be accepted by the society because as i mentioned earlier education ultimately is a reflection of what the society wants so what's happening in the school is what uh, the people around uh, the school are uh, desiring and uh, if if that desire is not there then whatever we do in school remain as experiments not something that they can carry forward and take to the society